What's up everyone, my name is Fortlas and welcome back for some more sim racing. As you can see today we are back on Automobilista for another online race. Um, we are actually in the uh, Caterhams uh, today, as, uh, as is every uh, Monday with the race department, we drive a uh, Caterham race on Automobilista. This time we're at Snetterton, we're at the uh, 300 layout, so it's kind of the long layout, slow map actually in these cars. Uh, about a two minute mark um, and uh, yeah driving a 20 minute race here with uh, I don't know how many people there actually are in the session but I think it's about 30 it's kind of a popular series popular formula here on race department Decatur Hams on the Monday evenings so um, yeah should be good fun I've uh, um, raced, uh, I, did, I did a race prior to this here at Caber Indicator Hems and uh, <laughs> didn't really end well. Um, but yeah, uh, kind of bottled it there on the uh, on the hairpin. Uh, actually, whilst breaking for the hairpin, so hopefully it's going to be a little bit better. So as I said, 20 minute race. It's gonna be about 12 laps, um, and yeah, it's gonna be really intense considering I'm starting 13th, so mid pack. It's gonna be a lot of action, that's for sure. Hopefully, we can uh, keep it clean and have some uh, some nice battles along the way. All right, everybody's in place. Only four lights here. And we're away. Solid start. Actually, the guys behind me didn't get that good of a start. But that's okay. Obviously, cold tires. So I have to be careful here. Trying it down the outside here. Hold your line. Clear right. Car right. Still there. Three wide. You're this is. This is close. A little bit of oversteer coming out of the hairpin there. Should really go uh, into second gear there, not first gear. This first gear can be a little bit tricky here in these cars while getting the power down. What was that mistake I made uh, in the next, in the last race actually? So. All right, we survived at least the first couple of corners, but the most tricky parts of the track are still coming up. Watch your left. On your left. Still there. Sneaky move down the inside here. A little bit out breaking myself, but yeah, no problem really. That was a sneaky move, if I uh, do say so myself. So in the slipstream here along the. Long back straight, it's really important to get a good exit out of that corner and uh, yeah, to have a car in front of you for slipstreaming because it really makes a lot of difference. And again, braking really Watch early, probably a little bit left. too cautious here on the first lap. Guy ahead, Hold your line. slow car there. Again, Clear. really tricky stuff here, but we are uh, now actually in 10th place, if that's correct. And had a kind of a good run here on the back straight, really important as well, on the front straight, I should say. Those two uh, straights are really important to get a good run, obviously, in those in these cars. Those uh, sections Caution. take ages. As there's a car reversed. Car right. All clear. Oh boy. All clear. Clear right. But that means uh, we gain another position. Ooh, I'll break myself. Kind of got distracted by the guy in the mirror. Um, but he backed out of it. Keep right. On your left. Clear left. Car left. 
keep right. Okay, we are going to be on the outside, but maybe we can do a little cutback. No. He stops it nicely on the apex, just like you should do. And uh, yeah, it's not going to be for now. Another guy spinning out. Well, that's another freebie. And the black cater M got a kind of a bad exit here. So maybe no, we're not gonna be close enough, but definitely closing in, that's for sure. This is such a tricky corner. First you're turning left, then braking while turning, and then switching direction to uh, to the right. And a little bit of the same scenario here. So here we're actually turning right, then braking whilst turning, and then this left-hander, which is extremely important and which I've kind of screwed up here. Hopefully we can uh, grab a little bit of slipstream. That will bring us back into the battle. But yeah, we're in ninth place. That's really not that bad. Considering we started 13th, I think, yes. We're running a little wide, but we have uh, enough momentum to uh, kind of keep uh, it up. Yeah, second will give you a little little slower exit out of that hairpin but uh, yeah it's a lot safer and I think in the long run that's kind of a, the, the way to go there so I'm already quite sweating here it's actually extremely hot right now while recording this. So yeah, I really feel like I'm a, kind of in a race car. But yeah, the Caterhams obviously uh, don't have uh, any roof, or how should I say that? Uh, so yeah, that's not really accurate, but yeah. Let's just go with it. My head got a little twitchy. The caution flag is out. Ooh, that was a bad corner from me. Watch out. There's someone going off, so that's good for us. I'm gaining massively here in this tricky corner. Uh, my exits out of the crucial corners are not really that good. I don't really have a straight line speed. This is a almost default setup. I messed a little bit with the uh, anti-roll bars, with the uh, front anti-roll bar actually, just to get the car turned in a little bit quicker uh, and make it as responsive actually as possible. But uh, yeah, this is uh, still a caterham, so uh, it's gonna be uh, twitchy. It's still gonna dance around a little bit. Uh, I think that's not gonna be able to be completely uh, gotten rid of so yeah but it's a little bit better and a little bit more responsive but yeah obviously that comes with a little bit more oversteer out of the corners which I wasn't really used to in the uh, last race That's why I made some mistakes there. But so far so good here. Hopefully I didn't jinx it there. But still some, some over, uh, understeer here. Uh, when you look at that corner, maybe I went into it, into it a little bit too hot, but um, yeah, still some over, understeer. Can't really avoid that, I think. 
in a car like this. Obviously having a relatively no arrow. Arrow, I should say. Kind of tired. Ooh, that's not gonna end well up ahead. Oh, it actually did. And uh, it gave us a little run here. Let's see. Battling for the top 10 positions. The exciting race unfolding here. Let's see if we can make it down the inside. Nope, it's not gonna be possible, but yeah, a lot of people defending so we can gain some real estate here. Let's see if we can keep it down the inside, that would be really good for the next corner. Obviously, the outside line is gonna have a lot of momentum here, but if you can keep it around the inside, whoops, there's a car spinning, then uh, you have the inside for uh, this corner, that's what I was talking about. Mm. Oh, had a lot of lift off oversteer, of our, or I know I knew what that was, but that was, wow, that almost took me out there. Still there. Seems like everybody's struggling a little bit now. Obviously in the heat of the battle, that can all happen. So yeah, slipstreaming battle here. But it's not really looking too good for us. So kind of have to go down the inside. Ooh, braked a little bit too late. But we actually pulled that off, so uh, yeah, that's another position gained. That was lucky, because you don't really uh, see a lot of passing through there. Or definitely not clean passing, at least. Ooh, terrible exit. Really a terrible exit. Hopefully this lip stream will uh, save us. It's actually a little bit better to uh, be on the outside for this corner, because it will give you a lot more Clear. momentum. Clear. Right side. Normally, right. when you have a, when you run a normal line, uh, but Hold not in line. this case apparently. Keep left. Three wide. You're on the left. We went there in sliding, but luckily the uh, the guy behind us kind of put us into uh, the right direction a little bit because oh that was really close. That was kind of exactly the same mistake I made last time around. So yeah, it still remains my uh, kryptonite that corner. Even in second gear. Oh, it's always really hard to get a power down there. But these cars are actually a lot of fun. They, uh, they're they're definitely a handful. They slide around, they bounce around, they're all over the place. But yeah, that makes them. Makes them really fun to drive. If it's working out, but it can also be uh, relatively frustrating if you don't, uh, for example, have a lot of practice for an online race or something like that. It can be kind of frustrating, these cars. Is it? still hard to place them exactly where you want but we have a good exit here so we're gonna use the slipstream and a little bit of a nudge some bump dropping 
a love tap. I think that's actually uh, saved us from the guy behind. We're on the outside here, being careful here on this corner. Still there. But we're on a dirty line on the outside. That's really not a place to be. On your right. On your right. Hold your line. Clear. Clear right. All clear. Ooh, very tight battle here. It's actually a really exciting race we have going on right here. Oh, the underseer. Getting sloppy, everyone is getting sloppy. I'm sliding around all over the place. I think that's kind of tire wear kicking in a little bit. But boy, oh boy, everything's sweaty. Huh. Be more gentle with my uh, inputs. With the tire wear. Ooh, running wide a little bit. I don't want to be on the outside here. Luckily, he didn't really went for the move there because I think he probably would have been able to uh, get down my inside, but that yeah probably wouldn't have ended well for uh, both of us. So that's five minutes remaining. We already did a quarter. So that's gone kind of fast actually. Down the inside. <laughs> do the high speed stuff. Oh, he's gonna do both of us. Right side. All clear. Watch your right. Clear. Wow, that was a really good move from uh, Paul there. Really opportunistic. But yeah, what, I shouldn't have gone uh, for the move there because it, it kind of killed my momentum. But with these two battling here, can we gain back that time? car is definitely sliding right now. I think I've made the uh, setup a little bit too aggressive on uh, tire wear. And that's really hurting me now. So we fell back to 7th place. It would be cool to, to uh, get to that 5th uh, place, top 5. It's always nice. White car is struggling as well. I think the uh, I think Paul there in the black uh, black Caterham is having a lot more pace than us, so I think he's gone. Really being careful now, but now we have the slipstream again. And Nathan here is always going very defensive, but now he's kind of on the outside, taking normal line. We're not close enough to uh, challenge. Again, really close here. So he's going defensive, which is good. Yeah, second really hurting my exit speed wise when the car is we're getting really really hard to control really under steering through these uh, 
slow speed corners. Yeah, this, this track really offers a great challenge. Actually, uh, just watched the uh, BDCC race from uh, last weekend uh, here at Snetterton and uh, yeah, kind of excited then to uh, jump into this online race here. A real BDCC mod that will be a great little addition to, uh, to Automobilista. And then I mean a decent BTCC mod and not a skin pack for the Marcus Touring cars. As we're up on the outside here, that's gonna kill his momentum. He's actually gone off track. So that gave us sixth place. Alright, that's good. It's really good. And it was actually a decent lap, almost near our fastest lap. But I think we didn't really have uh, any lap without traffic yet. So far, a really exciting race actually. Coming back to first gear there. And now, full speed going after Paul there. He had so much pace. Time is running up. <laughs> Big slide there. So we're probably not gonna catch him unless he makes a little mistake. So let's just be careful not to make any mistakes ourselves. little slide there. We have kind of a, a safe gap to uh, Nathan there. We don't make any mistakes obviously. Hovering about 1.5 seconds. And yeah, it would have been cool to uh, still get that uh, fifth place. Um, but yeah, definitely you're gonna be happy if I bring it home in sixth. Considering we started uh, 13th on the grid, so that's 11 positions gained. Not bad, not bad at all for Monday. I'll take that actually any uh, any day of the week. So and then this should be the last lap. Final lap. This is it. Yes. We can still hope for a mistake from uh, from Paul. He's actually uh, running into some traffic right now, so there's still a chance. But yeah, again, great, uh, great race, great day here. Uh, apartment a lot of fun always actually so uh, if you're not already joined to race department definitely do it it's a lot of fun automobilista races uh, almost every day of the week actually um, so if you're into that if you're into clean fun online racing then uh, yeah race department is definitely the way to go Definitely check out the uh, the Monday races with the Caterhams. But you have to be uh, kind of early to uh, be able to sign up because uh, yeah, always kind of full lobbies here on Mondays to race away the Monday Blues, I guess. So yeah, 
Also, a um, little bit different thing here. We uh, actually got 400 subscribers here on the channel, which is uh, which is insane, actually. Um, and uh, yeah, just glad uh, people are uh, enjoying my content apparently. So uh, yeah, big thanks for that. So coming up to the line then to finish our race here. Uh, sixth place. I think that was kind of the best uh, we could do here. Uh, re really happy with that. It was a very enjoyable race. Good battles along the way, and uh, most of all, yeah, clean racing, clean fair racing. And close battling, that's what it's all about, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed as much as I did. And, uh, yeah, subscribe for more videos on Automobilista and other sim racing content if you're into that. So, I'll see you later.